Coach, released in 1978, is a sports comedy film with a May-December romantic twist. Directed by Bud Townsend, Coach stars Kathy Lee Crosby, Michael Bean, and Keenan Wynn. In an upper-middle-class suburban high school, the Stallions are set to have another losing season. When it's time for a new basketball coach, the administration receives the resume of Olympic gold medalist Randy Rawlings, and they set up a meeting. They're surprised to discover that Randy's a girl, aghast even, but she negotiates a deal. They give her a shot, and she has to resign as soon as the boys' basketball team loses. The players are just as skeptical, but Randy manages to win them over, even developing a special bond with Jack, the team captain. Will it be enough? Can the team make it to a perfect season? In 1971, two movies were released that would become Oscar-winning box office hits, The Last Picture Show and Summer of 42. Both movies included storylines with young men experiencing sexual awakening with a significantly older woman, helping to legitimize a particular subgenre of films that some critics call Mrs. Robinson films, while the internet calls this category something else. Crown International Pictures had made big bucks with a string of exploitation films featuring older women schooling younger men. The teacher, starring Angel Tompkins, had done particularly well for the distributor, and Crown President Mark Tenser had an idea for another Tompkins film in the same vein. But after Tompkins began demanding more creative input, production went into another direction. Kathy Lee Crosby was a top 10 tennis player in the 1960s before pivoting to acting. She even played TV's first Wonder Woman. Crosby brought a fresh, popular face to the project and helped pivot it in a slightly more wholesome direction. Mind you, we're still talking about a movie where an adult high school coach gets it on with a student. Even though this is exactly the kind of forbidden love intended to sell tickets, Coach is no cautionary tale. The affair is treated like a subplot, as this female coach tries to prove she can succeed in a masculine environment. Let's talk about the rest of the movie first. As a comedy, Coach is all sitcom jokes and situations. Given the practical joke, grandfather, a woman coach, the laugh us out of the league. There's even a hypnosis subplot. Almost every character is a one-dimensional type, but at least the jock and the nerd are on the same team. As a sports movie, Coach has quite a bit of ball play and training scenes, plus a cameo by 1972 NBA Rookie of the Year, Sidney Wicks. But Coach is pretty typical for an underdog sports film, and nothing here suggests that anyone would be inspired to pick up the sport after watching. As a feminist film, the coach faces her share of backwards-minded men and gets to outsmart and win over most of them. She gets the kind of feel-good ending you might expect for an aspirational comedy, but your interpretation of her success might vary. There are hints of something smarter underneath the plot, but Coach is more interested in being a sexy comedy than wrestling with any issues. The consequences only start to creep in during the last 20 minutes just in time for the big game. And because this is a sports comedy, the big game is all that matters. And then there's that romance. Honestly, the chemistry between Crosby and Bean is one of the stronger elements in the film. Their characters are allowed to emotionally bond over their mutual isolation in the high school bubble. In the end, the relationship comes off as plausible, but not exactly justifiable. The movie doesn't emphasize the age difference very strongly, and this sidestepping of the scandalous aspect of Randy and Jack's romance feels like an attempt to normalize it, which might be the most dangerous thing about this movie. In the 70s, this was an equal opportunity flip of a sexist cliché. In modern times, this is abuse of a power dynamic, and depending on the student's age, a potential crime in most of the United States. For the record, Michael Bean was 19 when he filmed his scenes with a 33-year-old Kathy Lee Crosby. As an exploitation film, Coach has a couple of locker room scenes and some other topless and wet t-shirt shots. It's amazing what qualified as PG in 1978. But this film isn't explicit for the grindhouse genre, and there's not as much skin from Kathy Lee Crosby as the advertising might suggest. Most of the nudity is from the 20-something actors playing high schoolers. Director Bud Townsend had cut his teeth on directing episodes of the TV series Death Valley Days and The Beachcomber before trying his hand at feature films, first in horror and then adult musical comedy. Coach would not be Townsend's last crown film. So if you want to watch an unlikely success story of a female coach leading a sports team of young men, just watch 1986's Wildcat starring Goldie Hawn. It's set in the world of high school football, she doesn't sleep with the team captain, and it's funnier. 
you watch Coach for the forbidden romance. In this case, the movie's ending will kind of leave you hanging, though. Just remember that this is forbidden for a reason.